WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here. This is Friday, the very first day of September. I uh, wish everyone a very long and happy uh, weekend coming up here. Uh, but in the meantime, back at the ranch, we're looking at the Dow, which had a fabulous opening gambit to the upside. Couldn't take out yesterday's high. And what I said for this chapter, wave Roman candle, red inverted Roman candle. If the Dow could hold for 90 minutes above 35,000, oops, 34,970. Uh, it did hit 34,979, but it had to hold that between 60 and 90 minutes. There's a chance it could retest the hive yesterday otherwise you've got to be careful and if in the next two days if it closes underneath yesterday's low that's in the 34,695 uh, I think area then that's a very negative sign shorter term so we'll see what happens in the meantime the S&P uh, gave back a chunk of its gains it's only up six now it was up much more uh, it was at the 45.41 area. The uh, QQQ, this is the NDX 100, now red uh, at 377.07. Uh, this is, um, the technicals are still pretty good. Looking at the IWM, uh, this is going to be very important because it's holding up 2.36 at 190.53. It keeps doing that. It reminds me of gold and silver, where gold, uh, has a great move, then silver catches up, then silver leads, and then gold says, hey, wait a minute, wait for me. Then they both ready together and then they come down together and then they start the whole process again anyway I, iwm is playing a little bit of a catch up here let's go to gold gold right now is uh unchanged it was up about 12 points now it's at 1966 looking at the uh, dollar the dollar is holding so well look the dollar's up now it's up 32 ticks at 103.96 i've been talking about this for quite some time saying that that 914 period moving average is still fabulous don't rule out the dollar strength it's still there and if you look at bonds bonds oh bonds oh bull, bonds are down over a dollar and a half at 120 and 730 seconds, not good. And crude oil is doing the exact opposite. It's spiraling high. It's up $1.46 at 85.09. So um, with that, I'm just going to wrap it up at this particular point before the break comes to say, I'll be doing the next hour. This is not going to be mastering probability because Steve Rhodes is, is the owner of that. I cannot, although he does use some chapter wave techniques there. No, I'm going to step aside and say I'm doing the hour. I'll do basically the chapter wave methodology in this particular hour coming up. Hope you can stay. It should be exciting. I've got a lot of stocks that I want to look at and talk about crude oil breaking out here. What does it mean and what letter is it in the chapter wave? I'll be right back. 